Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a haul, as you can already tell. I have been shopping a lot. It's Body Shop Mac, and I actually just wanted to show you a couple of pair of shades that I got from um, Boohoo because they are the bomb. I'll start off with the sunglasses that I got. Three pairs. Um, one is still in a bag. So I actually wanted some of those really, you know, mega gorgeous, like green mirrored ones, but I couldn't find any and it was really annoying me. So I have already had some green mirrored ones, but they weren't quite as big as this. So I thought I'd get these. Excuse the tag. <laughs> they are pretty big, pretty gorgeous. And I would totally rock them with any kind of look. Actually, they look quite good right now. <sighs> Yep, so they are gorgeous. They just have a gold rim. They go gold right up to on the, what do you call them, the arms or the, I don't know, and then they're black there. But they are pretty hot. I like them. They were like six quid. I think all of them were six quid. So then I got these and these are just the same, but they are all black and I love them. You can see my lights. I love them. Um, I actually got these because I thought I'd lost. So um, I really like these ones. I actually wore these on my holly bobs. I can't get the thing off and it's right in the way. So I'm just gonna rock them with. So um, these are quite Kardashian style, Kris Jenner style, which I absolutely love. And um, I just like a plain black glass sometimes. So they're hot and these ones are dusty already I haven't even worn them yet um these ones are gorgeous just a big black frame um a square style so go out of the way Kylie big black frame style oversized gorgeousness and they yep love them I haven't even tried them on yet I don't think um yeah they're really hot I really like them they got quite a thick band actually up there as well which is really comfortable but I think do sometimes they do end up quite a lot but they feel like they'll be quite good yeah like them next I'm going to do Mac so I've ordered a couple of bits of these and I went shopping and picked a couple of bits up as well because there was a couple of bits I realized that I kind of wanted after I'd done my order so I'll do the boring bits first because it's just how you do so this was actually a free gift with purchase because I'd spent enough to get it and um, it's just a, one of the pigments and it is in chartreuse bouquet bouquet well bouquet sorry chartreuse bouquet it's just a green pigment which I'm not actually quite sure what I'll use it for so that could be like an invention day, which will be fun. Next, I wanted something that I could cream contour with. I have got products that I can cream to contour with, obviously like all the concealers, and I have a um, MAC contour stick. Well, what I call a contour stick, I think it's actually a foundation stick that I used, and I've used it a couple of times, but it just does not blend nice. So I picked up the Pro Concealer and Correct palette, and this is the medium one, um, and it was, um, a really good price so I, I wanted it because the shop in my village does it all for like 30% off which is awesome um, so it's this palette here and it's got the best shades in it for a medium which I usually am even though I'm super tanned right now which is not real it come out of a bottle so it's got the yellow um, the pinky it's got two kind of yellowy pinky shades and then the rest are sort of medium browny and yellow these three are medium browny yellow and the rest are pinky and a lighter shade so yeah, that should be good for um, cream contour video, which I want to do. And I've been waiting, waiting, waiting to do it. And then I found that baby. So thanks, Mac. Your receipt. Well, go over that one. Um, next, I picked up an eyeliner. Now I've got loads of black eyeliners, but they just don't cut it. So I, I, I really wanted. Nope, can't remember the name of it. I know there's a black one from Mac that I really, really wanted, but they didn't have it. So I got the Mac Black brilliance fluid line eye pencil crayon and it's like a windy uppy one or it was doesn't actually wind up but anyway it's quite good I've got it on now I've used it in a tutorial this you will see because I've just filmed it for you 
aren't I nice? And it's really creamy and gorgeous. I'm not sure if it's going to budge or move like the rest of them do yet because I've only just put it on, so we will soon see. Next. So, I have got loads of the new MAC lipstick range. Now, I knew that this was coming out. I already have like Velvet Teddy and things like that, which I know is matte, so they added some colours to their line. So I wanted to indulge and be naughty. So I got, first off, I actually saw this in a picture in on Instagram on a girl and I was like, yes, uh-huh. This is taupe. It is absolutely beautiful. I think I will swatch all of these. Oh, yeah. Actually, I would say that's quite like Velvet Teddy. Um, it's quite beautiful. I'd just say it's got a bit more of a pinky shade to it so you'd mix like faux or something over the top which is gorgeous as well then um off i got whirl which i have on now oh no i don't have this on now idiot so this is whirl which is gorgeous and it's this one here no i'm not swearing at you i point with that one yes it's that one there lush lush it is I'm Welsh. Love the Welsh accent. I think the Welsh accent and the do you call it the Newcastle accent or they like got a word like Liverpudlian. Welsh and Newcastle are my two favourites. Then you got Australian and American. Okay so what have I got now? Kind of sexy because everybody is in their own little way. That's a beautiful pink. Wow. Yep, love that. That is gorgeous. Really nice. Such a pretty girly colour. It'd be a pretty, like you could wear that with this, just if you didn't want to go quite so dark, that would be really nice. Mare, mer. Where did this come from? Can't even remember picking this up. Do you know, when you do so much shopping, you forget what you've bought. That's really nice, actually. I really like that. That would look awesome with Serenity from Gerard Cosmetics on it. Wouldn't it? Last lipstick is Stone, which is what I've got on now. I love it. I wanted something brownie and stony coloured, and this is mixed between the two. You see. Yum. I love that. And I don't ever wear dark shades because I just don't feel like they suit me, but I really want to start indulging, so. Yes. We were done shopping. We were going to dinner. We were walking through the shopping centre and I said, oh, body shop, I want a mud mask. And then this happened. I'm really happy. Okay, so I found a eye mask. This was only six quid. Chuck it in the fridge or the freezer. I think probably the fridge, it probably says, eye mask, master for les yeux. Yep. Um, do not microwave or heat in other way. So it's not for heat. Use according to instructions only. Always place piece of cotton between the eye mask and your face. Oh, mm, I never knew that. Oh, what does it say? Whether hot or cold, simply put the mask on, lie back and relax for a wonderful cooling experience. Yeah, because it is quite cold without putting it in the fridge. Um, place mask in the refrigerator for one hour or for extra soothing in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. So an hour in the fridge or 10 to 15 minutes in the freezer. It's a pretty pink color that's pretty big, so fine. Then I asked for the mud mask. Well, actually it was the first thing I asked for, but I just got that out first. So I picked up the Seaweed Iconic Clay Mask um, for combination or oily skin, which is exactly what I am, especially in the summer I go a little bit more oily. Um, and it is such a nice smell. I can't wait to use this. I've resisted so I can show you a clean pot. And then my mum came today and she was like, oh, can I? And I was like, no, I'm doing a haul. I don't want fingerprints in it. Get your little mitts out. Love you, mum. So um, yeah, it's really nice. So you put it on, it will turn white when it's dry and then you can see all of your bad areas. It will draw everything out and you'll be able to see where you are. And the girl that sold it to us was like, I only ever get bad on like one side of my face. Really? Does anybody else have that? I haven't had that. So, um, picked up the seaweed mattifying day cream. So, 
this smells. Mm. So what does it say this is for? This is combination oily skin as well. Moisturizes dry areas, controls excess sebum and shine. What's sebum? This one says purifies, cleanses, controls and excess oil. Controls excess oil. Right, next. She gave me a little sample of a um, scrub. Now, I wanted a scrub, but I didn't want the really harsh one. She had two in there that I really, really liked. So there's one that was really grainy, like really quite hard. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I feel like it might rub me a bit too hard because sometimes my legs are a bit sensitive. And I think, oh, I don't really know if I want to use it. It's a, it's a lot of money if I'm not going to like it. So she said, I'll give you a sample. So what actually happened was I bought a different scrub and my sister Lauren bought that harsh scrub, which she actually loves. She's already used it and we bought it yesterday. Um, so she's used that, but she gave us um, visa versa samples of the scrub. So I've got a sample of Lauren's and Lauren's got a sample of mine so we can see if we like it. So the scrub that I picked up is, <clears throat> I have to get this right, African Zimen Zimenia, it's an X, Zimenia scrub, softening body scrub, gommage corpse lissant. That must be like the bottom. Um, so it's actually 350 mils. It is huge and it's not the harshest one there. So I really liked it a bit better because you can still feel the grain in it. Oh, it just smells. Yeah. See how smooth that is? See, that's because what I didn't let my mum touch it. It actually looks like a moisturiser, but when you put your finger in it and rub it on, you can feel the tiny little grain. So that's going on my body. I didn't actually say how much any of this was. I'll go through the receipt in a minute and tell you. Um, and then to go with it, which I loved, which was sat next to it, I got the Jap Jap Japanese, the Japanese Camellia Cream. And this is the best smell ever. It's like such a girly smell. And I kid you not, I think I rubbed this with my middle finger, I'm not swearing at you, onto this hand at about half four. When I got home, because we went to dinner, they went to the cinema to watch Trainwreck was rubbish. I like Amy Schumer, but it wasn't that very good. And for a romantic comedy, it was two hours, five minutes long. What romantic comedy is two hours, five minutes long? We know the story. You meet, you fall in love, you break up because you hate each other or you've done something wrong and then you get back together. That does not take two hours and five minutes. So, you know, next time just note that down. And I kid you not, I could smell it all night. Like it was so yummy. So the last product I got from the body shop was the Moroccan Rassol Body Clay, Firming Clay Body Mask, this is. And this also smells, it kind of smells like talcum powder. Yum. I'll just quickly run through and tell you how much they were because I forgot to say as I went. Thing I'm going to tell how much I've spent now. So um, the eye mask was six quid, like I said. The body mask, <coughs> which is this one, was sixteen pounds, and that's how many mils are in there? Six mils or two hundred mils? Idiot. The face mask seaweed was fourteen pounds, and then the moisture cream to go with it was £12 and then the two tubs of Japanese camellia cream was um, £23 and then the body scrub from the African Zemenia scrub was £18. So that is the end of the haul, thank you for watching, I hope you um, liked some of the products I got, I can't wait to use them, I'm going to have a whole pamper night with those body um, shop products like I just want to smell amazing um, just to quickly say about body shop if you go in there and shop now they are have now have like a new member card so you can go in there join the membership it's quick easy name telephone number and email like it takes two minutes they give you a card they send you a birthday present every year of a five pound voucher they also send out bonus vouchers if you are a lucky one which I was already they have sent me a ten pound voucher just from shopping with them yesterday and spending a lot of money so that is a really good go and take advantage of that because it's brand new it happened like two or three days ago they just started doing it so as a, a thing for all the new members they will give you a little extra bit to spend in store on on or online so that is awesome go and take advantage i hope you enjoyed the video um please give it a thumbs up please come and subscribe to my channel watch everything else i've got um i will put a link to this makeup look 
here if you want to go and watch it and please do because I love it and yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys um come follow me everything will be in the down bar and I'll see you in the next video bye yes then oh my god I'm talking really really fast I'll just throw them everywhere